The Kindle Scribe was a smashing success. Although it didn't have a huge palette of pens to choose from, it in and of itself is a great e-reader and a good e-note. It does have Wacom, and that's the biggest takeaway of this unit, arguably better than the Ellipsa, which was a little bit limited to only active capacitive and ab above say things like MeBook and other brands that are using quadruple A batteries or USB charging even by standards of Sony with the DPT which they're still selling. Well Amazon has sent us some pens because we've never taken an in-depth look at the pens yet. This is a pair of pens that they sell and they're all packaged and everything. They have their own respective retail packaging and we've never actually opened them up yet. But I will say they're very nice. They come with a little rip strip and they are in cardboard boxes. Hopefully they've cut down on a lot of plastic. This is the basic pen which comes with the scribe and this is the premium pen which comes with the scribe but you have to choose them at checkout. You'll be able to choose which one you want. We'll start with the basic pen. Unfortunately, in order to open Amazon products well fortunately and unfortunately you know if you're getting something used you have to rip them open so we are going to see what we can see here it looks like yeah there's no plastic anywhere in the whole thing and we'll tell you why in a second the box is entirely cardboard it has a slight stack of actual corrugation so that's nice and the pen is in a piece of paper with wax paper as well and in here it says hello hello bonjour ciao hola and konnichiwa and this is in multiple different languages english deutsch francais italiano espanol and nihongo so that's really cool tells you how to open everything up and all that fun stuff i don't believe the tips are included also included five tips and replacement tool wait a minute where are they i've never actually opened these boxes before are they okay there they are hidden down below here so they do have the Wacom felt tips and I know that these are the felt because they are not the palm so the palm would be more of the plastic composite and this one is more of the graphite composite so you're gonna get a little bit more grit out of this is there also a pen tip in the pen there is so you get six tips total then we're gonna open this and unravel it now this one doesn't have the back press down because it is the basic pen so you do not get the eraser at the back and you don't get the side button I don't believe this has any tap again we're just touching the basic pen for the first time when we conducted our review we only did it on the premium pen which we'll get into as well so that is the basic pen and it looks like you do get all these tips and the tip removal tool you don't have to worry about the tip removal tool it's not a tool it's just a piece of metal catered towards opening this up you can literally just take this out with your fingernails or you can use just a pair of scissors lightly and just take it out so you're not you're not completely messed up without the tool you'll you'll be all good on that account so just to test things out because i've again never used it there's a line and i'm going to try to do a double it this isn't gonna work double tap it doesn't it doesn't do the same thing the apple pencil does the huawei m pencil and the back doesn't have any eraser if it did it'd be no purpose to have a, the premium pen and there's no soft touch on there as well so this is just the basic pen which basically is just a body and the front maybe 30 percent is the actual wacom transmitter the rest is just for weight and feel because it doesn't actually have anything in it now for the premium pen because this is the really nice one with the push down eraser at the back so this one as well there's no plastic and those are the tips now that i know so we're going to open this one as well and see what's inside this is a cool one yeah so this one has a little bit of a push down gap kind of taking a page out of the book of books because this looks like a pen 2 pro in the way it's laid out so that pushes down like that so you can get yourself an eraser the beauty about Amazon using Wacom is what I just showed you. I just used the basic pen, cracked that open, and within 10 seconds, I'm able to use it. I'm able to use this. I'm able to bring other pens in and use them. And that's one of the downfalls of all of these. So we have some other pens here. So for example, what do you see? This one is the Rakuten Kobo pen and it utilizes a quadruple A battery. That is not an exaggeration. It is an actual, no, not a triple A. It is a quadruple A battery. You can't even find these everywhere. So this uses a quadruple A battery. Now there's no benefit to using this over this. However, there would be a benefit using a battery over something like this. The Sony DPT pen utilizes 
Pretty good technology, feels the best in the industry, but they use a USB micro in order to charge it. So when I run out of power, I have to charge this pen. I can't use it anymore, and my DPT is rendered basically useless until I can get some charge in here. Whereas on the Rakuten Kobo, if you run out of power, you just throw another battery in there. Boom, I'm done. I just keep writing. But you can't use them on anything except their own brand. There is some cross compatibility between the Rakuten Kobo Active Capacitive and say a Mi Book, but it's not a surefire thing. And there's zero cross compatibility with Sony other than the Sony properties, which is Fujitsu and Quark Logic, who is now defunct, and Dasung. Amazon puts all that to bed. And this doesn't have to do with Amazon, this is Wacom, but we're talking about the Scribe today. I can pick these up, they never run out of batteries because they never run, they don't have any batteries. There's no batteries in here. They're arguably faster than active capacitive, and they're easier to maintain. The tips are completely universal with everything in the industry. Whether you have a Big Me, Big Me works on there, no problem. Whether you have a Lamy, Lamy works on there, no problem. This one's customized with my name on it. And all the tips are universal, except for Lamy. Lamy has different tips. But that aside, if you had Big Me, if you had Onyx, if you have MobiScribe, if you have King Jim, if you have Remarkable, the tips are the exact same things. Whereas on these, they have individual tips from individual manufacturers and they're expensive sony replacement tips can be upwards of 70 dollars us for a set of five and they wear down very quick because they're made of what almost looks like pencil lead they almost look like they're just pure graphite so amazon going with wacom was the best thing they could have done because they were late to the party by a long time e-notes have been around for a very long time and amazon was so late to the party it's not even funny so for them to come to the races with wacom with the cross compatibility of using anything else in the industry was a very good move we hope to see more of the big three which is kobo and barnes and noble create things around this scope because really those are the biggest three companies in the world of e-readers and everyone else is outside of that pocketbook onyx mebook fujitsu sony etc they all kind of operate outside the realm of that big me moby scribe so it really is just these guys so for amazon to be the first one out of all these guys to not have note taking that'd be the kobo but to actually have wacom was a very good choice in my opinion. This is just a completely casual video I threw at you guys because Amazon dropped off these samples for us of the Scribe Premium Pen and the regular pen. So thanks for watching everybody. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or if you live in a country that Amazon doesn't service, we can give these to you and we can make sure you get them in your hand. And everyone, that's it. Have a great day.